your broadcast. The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Okay, so that is video equipment. Um, basically just a potpourri of other stuff that you might include. Audio production is kind of um, important. We talked about GarageBand a second ago, and we'll probably go into more detail about that. Knitting is an old standby, and then jewelry making is interesting as well, and that works really well with repurposed items and some of those um, household donations to kind of create something from existing parts. So, um, in order to use most of this stuff, you will need computers, and this is where I think you your preparation would come into play. Um, computers, of course, vary widely in terms of price, but you need to consider what you'll get with each machine, especially if you're doing a makerspace sort of activity. Um, not to pitch you on any particular device, but a lot of Apple's machines include software for audio and video production, like GarageBand. Um, there's an iMac program for video. And that's kind of just included with your price of your machine, so you don't have to go out and find other programs. So that might make it a little more appealing to you know, pay that $1,200 to, to get a, an Apple computer. If you don't want to do that, there are free programs out there that you can use, like Audacity for audio editing is great. I use that to um, transcribe or convert a bunch of uh, local history at my last library and put it up on the web. And it, did a great job of cutting out the noise and making things much more clear. <clears throat> there are a ton of video editing programs for free that you can use. AVID Mux is just the one that I found first, um, but there are many others. These aren't going to be as complex as you know your paid products, but they do the job effectively. One thing to keep in mind with computers um, after you've selected your devices is to make sure that they have the appropriate ports. CNC routers need a port like this to work. If you just have a machine that has USB ports and VGA ports and stuff like that, it will not work with your router. Your router has to have a parallel port. Um, anything else will transmit information too quickly or too slowly to the machine and the motors will struggle to catch up or get ahead of time or something like that. So let's um, kind of go through the process of how to select an item, and hopefully our boat is getting close to done. I picked the first 3D printer that I found, and it's this Lulzbot TAS-5, which is uh, just almost two, well, just over $2,000. It won some award from Make Magazine, and as I've said, Make is pretty much synonymous with maker spaces. So that definitely speaks to um, its quality. But if I want to do a little more research before I buy it, I can go out to Amazon and just punch in my Wallspot Test 5, go to the item and click on it. And again, it's got the price there for me, but I've got reviews, also answered questions on the Amazon page, which can be really helpful. Um, it talks about the bed arriving warped or the software that you might use, and they talk about Google SketchUp. So if you're looking to um, get everything you need in order for your device, uh, it's a good idea just to check the Amazon page, I think. <clears throat> and it'll tell you what's frequently bought with your device. So um, you'll be able to see the kinds of filament that's frequently um, purchased in tandem with the printer. Once you've gotten all that information, you can head out to Reddit and let me go back and start the GIF over again. Okay, so I go to Reddit, I look up Lulzbot TAS5 in my search box there on the main page, and they have um, a variety of search results here, so Lulzbot Taz versus MakerGear versus Ultimaker. If I go into one of the discussions, I can view all the um, all the information that's available, and some of this stuff is coming from people who have used this frequently and are experienced users, so it can be really helpful.
Um, and I would recommend that you, of course, research before you purchase, look at what other libraries are doing, um, focus on your staff. It can be helpful if you have enough staff that one person is responsible for one device. That's ideal, probably. Um, and then just use the internet to get information beforehand and fix issues that might arise. This is a dog with 3D printed wheels, so that's interesting. And this is uh, the latest poll that I could find on the sorts of devices that are being used in maker spaces in libraries. And at the very top is computer workstations. You need computers to run almost anything in a maker space other than knitting or you know, some of the robots. The robotics kits tend to run on apps on phones and things like that. 3D printing is way up at the top. And there are also photo editing, video editing, and so on. And it just goes through the list. This is actually the first page of a three-page um, chart, so there are all kinds of things happening in library maker spaces. So that's the end of the PowerPoint. I finished early, but we are going to do some other stuff. So on the handout that I gave you, let's just skip over question two. Uh, go on to question three and four. So now that we've talked about maker spaces and you've heard about what devices are available, would you like to keep your original answer for number one? Or switch it out for something else? So just write your new choice. If you have a new choice on line three, Okay, and when you're done, we'll start doing the group stuff here. So I basically created this chart that has a random number between 500 and 1,500 or 15,000 for our budget. I thought what we could do is just put together some items, see how much it might cost and how much we can get for our money uh, and create our imaginary maker space. So we're starting at the top here with $5,393. And if you guys don't object, I could just take your suggestions or the choices that you want. We'll plug them right into the chart. Let me bring up my browser so we can look up cost. Okay, so do you want to start here? So if I was gonna, if I was just starting a maker space, <laughs> I would not buy a 3D printer to start with. Why not? <laughs> I would buy because it's just one thing. Mm -hmm. And if I only have $2,000 and my thing costs $2,000, I mean, I would like one, but I would start with some smaller stuff first to get people in the door. Mm -hmm. And then maybe after I've gotten some kids interested in, in it, then maybe the next year go and do a, because I'm a, school and so I get say I had two thousand dollars every year mm -hmm. that I was going to put into my maker space I would start out with easier to use stuff mm -hmm. and build my group of kids that were interested and then I would go out and get bigger stuff okay so something like a a circuit board kit or something like that? Or? Yeah, I do. Like, um, like I have the Lego things and the iRobot things. I probably, I think I'd um, add like a Makey Makey, okay. one of the, you know, different things like that to add on. Okay. To, to see where I'm going with it. That's a really good idea. And those are under $50, yeah. so if you needed multiple kits. Right, so you could like get a lot of variety. Um, I've also wanted to do like the duct tape stuff, so mm -hmm. you could buy a hundred dollars worth of stuff. You know, you could do so many different things the first time, you know, the first year you were doing it. Okay, so I will go ahead and add that to our chart here. Um, let's say Makey Makey Kits, five of those is about two fifty. 
So we still got five thousand dollars left. <laughs> See now, I understand what she's saying. I did wait mm -hmm. simply because it was more of a money flow right. issue, not everything. We got um, two printers for under five hundred dollars at Christmas time because there was an X Y Z. I talked to the E S U about it, and they said, "Well, you know, do you want?" really big one. And I said, if I was in a classroom, yes, mm -hmm. that's what I want. This is not a classroom situation. This is more. So I went on to Amazon and kind of watched and sat on it and so on. And then at Christmas time, they had them on seven for two for three five dollars. And they're good quality printers? They, um, like I said, I went to the ESU guy and said, you know, and he goes, yes. He said, well, what you're doing, if you were going to print every day, all day, no. Mm -hmm. That's not what we do. Right. You know, again, as we were, I was talking, I can't, space-wise, I can't have the kids in there all day, so we only do it a couple, you know, a couple times after school. He said, in that situation, totally fine. And That's great. So, yeah, I mean, I got totally lucky now you can do it each. Right. And like I said, I got lucky with that one, but, you know. And again, I understand what you're saying too, but to me it was also, well, I might as well have it because the kids you know, get them started and interested. And at that price, I couldn't go wrong. You know, yeah. Are you using the program that came with the printer to design? And um, part of it, yeah. We're, like I said, we got it towards the end of the year. Mm -hmm. And um, of course, one of them came with the piece out anyway to it showed up so we were behind a little bit on that. But yes. We're, you know. And that's my thing is I'm trying to get the kids to do their own programming so that's mm -hmm. a part of it that we're um, that they're a little bit why can't we just print it from, you know, <laughs> thing you know yeah. right, but that's not the point of this. Right. You learning skills. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So, well, um, does anyone else have some suggestions? We still have a lot of money to spend. Mm -hmm. Well, I have that much money. I had spent a couple thousand dollars on a 3D printer. Okay. 2000 Wouldn't that start with donations? I had a grant um, through our ESU 9, and so I got $500 worth of things. Wow. And I bought it through the education thing. And so I did that. And here I also wrote a grant for my little iRobots. Um, our Chamber of Commerce had a had a thing that was uh, um, how you know we want you to get equipment that will help people in their career you know Chamber of Commerce and so I sent the little thing on the iRobot and it was like maybe two years ago is when I did that and they sent a letter back to me and said we can see no practical application to any of this with anyone's job. <laughs> and I talked to my tech guy, you know, the district tech guy, and he's there, he's like, they have no idea what's going on in the world. I mean, they they don't see where coding would have anything to do with getting a job. <laughs> so I bought the I bought my iRobots out of my budget. I bought ten, I think ten of them, and they were like. Maybe forty dollars a piece. If I bought ten of them, they were less expensive per thing. I think that would be good. Hi, robots. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, Just out of curiosity, um, how do you code those? Do they use Blockly? Or? They do use Block, really? but you can use you. I mean, depending on the kit, mm -hmm. if they're you can use Block, and they have like a freeware that you use with it. But you can also you can also do just the straight coding too. Okay. It. Very good. So it depends on your it depends on your kid. So if one of my little hackers are in there, you know, if, <laughs> if it's like a kid that knows nothing, it's those drag and drops are real easy, especially if they already did code.org mm -hmm. and they went through the whole drag and drop stuff. So. I would also want to get a GoPro. Okay, yeah. okay. Should I just read off my list? Back here going. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Actually, I'm going to see how much a GoPro runs these days. I think it's around 150. Oh. Well, depend, yeah, that's how much we get. 
let's go with the 180 model. We're swimming in money. <laughs> what else do you have? I'll be honest with you, a lot of the stuff here that we're saying, if, if you want the 3D printer, we need to, we need to do filaments. And yes. also, if we need any, like I'm noticing you have a fair, or by the way, our boat is done. Um, okay, great. If you have, you know, you have the toothbrush up there, which, you know, that yes. kind of stuff that is, which you don't, and the scraper, you don't, mm -hmm. you need that stuff. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You, you know, so for lack of a better term, maybe a little kid. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Well, some some do. Like we got the scraper, but you'll find that we, we ended up getting another, a different one too, because mm -hmm. you may need a different. Yeah. So right. there's just, but there's things like that you don't know about. Get them and use them. And go, oh, I could have used. Does the GoPro camera have lights and a tripod? GoPro is very very small, so I mean it's. Maybe to size. Yeah, I would go with also get a Vloggy or a Panasonic because that's what we use with college and they have we got tripods so mm -hmm. students can do their own speeches mm -hmm. and um, or have someone if they're doing a speech they can be in a good microphone is always good too if you're gonna do any yeah. audio stuff. I have some of those snowballs, which were real Those popular. are great. I love and those. And they're cheap, too. They're yeah. like, I don't know, 89 bucks or so for them. And they're hard to lose because they're bigger. They're not like the little, you know, can't walk out. Yeah. They can, but, well. They it's just very blatantly yeah. obvious. <laughs> okay, so Panasonic camera is about 2000 Well, I don't know if we don't have that with camera. Okay. One thousand. And well, the GoPro too, I think, like she was saying, depending upon you know, you can get a helmet, mm -hmm. a tripod, things right. like that. So you know, depending on what you want to do with some of that, mm -hmm. you know, that you might want to have some quote unquote extras with that. Okay. Um, they usually sell them in the kit on the at least some of them that you buy with kit and all the kids. If and you get a green screen really cheap, you can just order a big piece of fabric and mm -hmm. it's like, I don't know, I ordered, I've had mine for quite a while, but for like 120 bucks, you can have a huge piece of fabric that you can just string up or staple to the wall at the top of it. I have like a little uh, uh, a curtain rod thing that mine's on. Um, one thing again that we get a lot or that I have is um, the big headphones. Mm -hmm. We don't use buds, but no, when we over have here. for the kids who are doing the garage band and things like that, for our sanity, <laughs> yes. it's true. but it's also for them to make it on the hero better too. And so a couple, at least a couple of those would be good. Okay, that takes us down to close to $1,000. And we don't have a computer yet, so. Oh, we, see, I used to see. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, we could assume that. That's fine. Or tables. Tables, yeah. <laughs> Chairs. So, we managed to get a lot for about $5,000. Our printer, 3D printer, is kind of the centerpiece item. Um, and then our expensive camera comes after that. But otherwise, we can grab a lot of different equipment for pretty reasonable price. Slides if you were starting right from scratch with an empty room, you can come right out of the table to the chair. Absolutely. See that's what I was saying literally when I walked in, you know, I was like, these tables are awesome. <laughs> that's part I really meant that because that's yeah. part of it with our maker space again I do it with too much, you know, too many people, not enough space, but you've got, there's four tables in here, and the ability, the biggest thing is to be able to move them, mm -hmm. depending yeah. upon what we're doing. Like I have, a, okay, I don't know why, but my family decided to give my husband two little automatic cars, and you know, by Christmas time, he looked at me, and I'm like, <laughs> anyway, 
I have them at the acre space. And the kids use them. I think you see them using the GoPro on it. But I'm just saying they use them all the time. So it would be nice to get them out of here are the tables out of the way, but our tables were so big mm -hmm. and so bulky. And I was just like, it would take like two seconds to throw them against yeah. the wall. And, you know, that would be too. So. Yeah, there are always lots of considerations for this kind of thing. Furniture, ventilation, plugs, lighting. Yeah. So it's not just buying stuff. Or it's plugs in the right spot, too. Yeah. That's part of it, too, because we have enough for 27 computers, mm -hmm. but where they're located, we have I blow, a, I blow a breaker when I plug in the coffee maker. Okay. <laughs> so there's always that too. <clears throat> well, I guess our boat is done, so let's see. Oh, and actually the extruder is cooling down. I won't be able to do anything until it's cold. So um, I did bring something else for you guys. I don't know if you've seen it already. Cardboard, have you seen it? Oh, I have seen them. Yeah, they're okay. cool. Okay. Well, this is $20. It's literally a piece of cardboard. And stick your smartphone in there. Up here. And that's what you guys get to your kids get to use phones. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. The library, like the library, you can you can use your phone in the hat. What's the reason? Plus, I don't want to kill you. <coughs> you know, you have to wear headphones. Okay, so Somebody do it. I've done it. Actually, I started walking on the cliff and screamed. It was on my daughter's house. <laughs> Go ahead. Go. There's a scary one too. My yeah, niece loves the yeah. scary one. My niece was screaming at the scary one too. From what she said, they surprise their friends with it. There's one spot where a monster <laughs> jumps out and they make them watch that scene. I know there's like a middle school teacher that has some of those and they use it for, um, uh, there's different tours and stuff that you can go on. So her kids have used it in class and every other kid has a smartphone. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can use that stuff. Oh, okay. There is a slot. It's underneath.
Okay, it's sturdy. <laughs> something you have to wait for the bed to cool down otherwise the plastic will adhere to it so I think um, in the early stages we have to be kind of forcing stuff off the bed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we can't, well, not our solid is a we can't what get a new bed. Like that's my set of touch pads all that's a house. Pretty good idea, yeah. I mean it would be bigger. Yeah, it's amazing. Actually usually I use the tweezers here to try to get underneath and then uh, pry it up. It's been right we don't off. send tweezers. But see, that would be a good thing. Mm -hmm. So, did you make cookie counters? Yes. <laughs> and this is one of the failed experiments. So it was supposed to be an android, and his head sort of detached. Oh, oh, sad day. Yes. <laughs> light. <laughs> yeah, not very light. Yeah. That's what's called. Yeah, oh, okay. Then, yeah, we could build a house, too. Absolutely. The only other thing that I had for you guys, if you wanted to do it, was I thought we could download a model and then make some changes to it, so add your names or something like that. Um, we have about 15 minutes to go. As I said, I will send you an email that has um, the presentation, the video, the handouts, and some other stuff as well. So, month to do it. It's due on your own. If you need help with it, 
then you get contact people. I mean, I had kids that were trained. <clears throat> and then I gave out prizes. Um, the district had, the year before, they had given for like uh, staff appreciation day, they'd given little uh, cherry berry cards that were $5 cherry berry cards. Well, they had 25 of them left over. So I was like, enter, you know, print off your thing that says that you've completed this. You can email it to me, you can do whatever. And then we just drew out of that 25 kids who completed the thing. And I, I know it's crazy. I mean, high school kids are just like elementary kids. They'll do anything for like a stupid prize from the Dollar Tree or something, you know. You get them a, whatever, a USB phone charger thing or a, anything like that or ear, or you know earbuds or anything and they'll be like, oh my gosh, this is the greatest thing I've ever had. Now we had the other, you know, ad. Could they will never enter any contests. Uh, they won't enter contests. Or <laughs> if they have, I mean, yeah. more than a twenty-five dollar piece of ticket, so I don't even know. I mean, if we had two people enter a contest, that was yeah. great. Yeah. You know, you know wow. it was just the apathy's unbelievable, yeah. yeah. and I think that's where you guys too, if you can incorporate some of people on on the faculty. Right. You can sell the idea of why some of this stuff is needed, well, why you would never need coding, I mean, we have whatever. Why did I mean, I know you're going, but, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah. When we did code.org, I got like the computer teachers on board with that too. So they had as many kids who could have time, you know, in between their assignments and all of our um, we have like a computer apps one where they do different things in there. So a lot of those kids did it. Because if you know how, you know, it's like it's an hour of code. Some people it will take 15 minutes to do. Some people it will take eight hours to do. It just depends on your, you know, on your, uh, how comfortable you are with the computer. I mean, when I first did it, I have problems like with right and left, and so when I'm doing that code, no, that was left, no, that was right. But I'll have like kids that will sit down there and go bing, 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 and it's done immediately. So it depends on, but anybody can do it. It just right. will take longer for one person or shorter for another person. And, and that, if it's an online thing, you right? Can post it is this thing exactly up. what I was going to say. It's online, and the initial part is there's it's mostly meant for kids. To be honest with you, they did. Frozen and, you know, there is a Star Wars one. Yeah, there is a Star Wars one this, year, like this year. But if you go a little further into the website, they actually have whole classes right. that you can take the coding. So you know, and it's free. Yeah. And it's, like, it's just like a thing to like to if you have some kids out of those 300 kids that did it, maybe 50 of those kids were like, this is it. And then they start playing with the websites, and then you give them other websites to work on stuff. And those are your kids. They're going to rule the world in five years from now. You know, they're going to be the kids that know how to do that, where the rest of us are, are still trying to move the little BBA <laughs> with our fingers to the game. But that's. But the thing is too is that I think when you go to that that site or do other things like this, it's a whole different way of thinking. And I think. Or those of us at a certain age, it's like, oh, like she said, the left, right. You know, oh, yeah. It's it's like, you don't have that certain step yeah. in front of, because it's literally what it is. The block means this. Like you showed on the screen, they're different colors, but it's literally you have a character, and you have it here, and then you have to my, tell it to my, turn my and go so many paces, and then turn and go so many paces, and turn. You have to tell it. You know, we just assume they're going to do it, and you're like, oh. I had to tell them to go left or right or whatever. My niece's little girl, who's four years old, did the frozen coding yeah. thing <laughs> in like an hour. <laughs> She's four years old. <laughs> wow, I love the math one. The math? But see right there. Mm -hmm. Okay, can you, is there people, you know, in your, you know, area that could do some of that to get people to... There's little videos, the kids can watch the videos and do it, you know, you don't have to be the expert at everything. 
Right. You figure this out. <laughs> but I mean, there are some kids that will do yeah. that. Yeah. 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 We have a student. Yes, students. I have one right now. Some of these, oh, no. Yeah. I have some recording systems. Yeah. I have some recording systems. They probably be able to write directions on how to do it. And actually, if you're doing this stuff with the robotics kits, it might be a little bit easier to enter into this kind of thing because it's not necessarily math. It's more turn left and go uh -huh. you know, 10 steps and turn right and a little more straightforward. Can I just, again, thank you for you guys. I honestly just think it's good if you can get, you know, get because you don't have the presence on the campus. You don't have the bodies. Well, one of the things that we saw is like taking a 3D printer and thinking, well, because it'll get people into the library. You know, they can do all of that at home. And I granted, I know you have to have a large majority of our population in the military. Is that why a lot of you are concerned? Why international? 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 Why they're transferred out, so they won't yeah. finish. They do it online. They go online. Right. That's why I'm just trying to think of, but again, they can do a lot of this at home or online, and then you can say, to bring it in on your you know, flash drive or whatever. Print it. Come in and print it. Sign up. Yeah. You can come in at this point to print it. You block this time or whatever. I think, I think though, where most of your students are there, how many students are actually coming, you know, how many students are actually there that you interact with? Or is there a certain number of students that you would like to start interacting with that don't come to Well, uh, that's one of the, you know, the new most of the engagement. Right, you know. That's right. And uh, we find that as students come into the library, um, they go to the computers, they know, we just want to be left alone. <laughs> to be they're like, oh, now they're approaching me. What do I have to do? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just want to be left it alone. I'm here yeah, to do, do, do this, and I'm gone. Yeah. Yeah. All right, chocolate chip cookies. If you have to go, <laughs> we use speedo. We use food. We use all different kinds of things. Movie nights. Movie nights. Gay nights. Six or seven people. <laughs> do they? Do they know you? I mean, where you're, you know, that's another yeah. thing too. Yeah. Do you? Do, do the kids that are, ta the students that are taking these classes, do they know you? I mean, is there any way that you can get yourself out there? Well, that's what we're trying to do. Right. We do orientations or what we can. Yeah, yeah, we do uh, orientation. We do student orientation. Library instruction. Yeah. Library instruction. Yeah. yeah. We're we're not it. But do your you're same students come in and you kind of feel, get the feels from certain ones. Do you have like a community area where they can come in and study or work on projects or comfortable places? We have yeah. study rooms, we have classrooms, we have a time, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're trying, it's just too yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. Well, one of the big ones now is that community space, you know, okay, like, yeah, like where people want to, yeah, where people want to come, come in and study for some right. together, or maybe in seven weeks or six weeks, just a comfy, cozy yeah. area. Well, so yeah, that's what we're just trying to yeah. figure out. Well, and I, some, you know, if you maybe you can look at a little more of your community too. And then, I don't want to say the, the word, but the do space yeah. up in Omaha, yeah. you know, I'm just, but I'm just saying that, yeah. that, you know, the whole thing behind that is for people in the community, which is different, your community is different than a public library community, but it's a chance for people, you know, they had a thing out of on NPR, did you guys see this? There was yeah. a really big thing on NPR, hmm. you want the website, you can see that. But they have people there, and they talk about how the whole point is that there's there were two or three guys there that said this is our business. 
we come here once, twice a week, and this is my job. I come in here to use this material because I can't afford a 3D printer or any of the other things. We use this, this is my place, and he liked it. One of the guys I remember talking about how I like it because the people because I can bounce ideas off of, you know, there's this other guy here, you know, and we share, and there's not really a competition, but a chance to help each other without, you know, and if maybe there's some way you can kind of tie that kind of atmosphere in, which is bringing in the community space, but also bringing in a maker space concept where you're saying, you know, in business classes you can't tell me that they don't make them do some projects like that. Could you, you know, like, well, they do they have a lot of the, you know, together. Right. So that's what I'm saying. Can you pull those guys in? And I realize again some of the classmates might be, well we'll bring in, you know, we'll FaceTime you or whatever right. when we're here. But if you have some of these things available where you have to, you know, show us a working, you know, part of the project or something, I'm just, yeah. sorry, I'm trying to break. Oh, no, thank you. No, 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 no ideas. So, but that was a really cool thing on NPR. Yeah. Talk about it, so. I do all sorts of studio things that kids are in the library for. Like during finals, I have. Donuts and coffee during oh, I do greens and ham on Dr. Seuss's birthday. I'm a high school. Those kids like bond in there to do those things. They think that's like the greatest thing in the whole world. Um, we just do all sorts of because we have random drawings on things, you know. Put this in to win a ducky, a rubber ducky. <laughs> and I'll have, um, I know, and half of the school population will run in and put their name in for that <laughs> Oh, that doesn't happen. <laughs> 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 I'll be sick for the Instagram. Yeah, we did an Instagram. Thing. What, what is easier than taking a picture of okay. yourself? Uh -huh. Two people. Really? And did you guys have a special and, hashtag? Uh, Ronis was what? A, self a selfie stick. And as a staff member, I mean, as a student. <laughs> and this is, this is open to all the moms. Nice. Wow. Yeah. So do they get like an email telling you about what's going on? Oh, yeah. the communication. Communication is all that. So your people. They would read it and see that. Yeah. 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 we have. We send no, stuff right. out everywhere. You know, Twitter, Facebook, you know what I mean? And we well, still have a multitude of people, what? basically I didn't parents that. calling, saying, hey, what's going on with this? Yeah. Yeah. What time is it? Yeah. Where is it? Like, no. Okay, never mind. Uh, yeah. <laughs> a national library is being a competition, too. And that was a big competition. Oh, let um, me do a photo of yourself reading. Oh, <laughs> I mean, my husband do it. Uh, <laughs> I we We've got two people. Then. I know. <laughs> well, now I I, I do this thing in the car. In my in a you know, catch you reading things. So I go around, and if there's kids reading, I take pictures of them, yeah, and then I post them yeah. in the library. I put them yeah. up on the website. Yep. I, <laughs> See, and I'm wondering with your clientele, instead of twenty five dollars, you know, what if you said if Night of babysitting, something like that. I love that. That's another topic. Yeah. So, anyway, sorry, we've gone off. Oh, no problem. So, do you guys, after hearing all this, think that a makerspace would work in your particular library, or would it be a challenge? I think I think mine's working okay. I just really? want to get more people involved in it. You know, mm -hmm. I think that for us, it's something that we're going to have to try. We don't have to try something different. And that works. That works. It works. Right. Right. Okay. 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 Okay.
space because they keep taking and putting well, this is ongoing, but we've got the tutor center, we have um, what they call a transition lab, and, and then uh, now they're remodeling part of the library, the area that's, but it's not a library, they're taking that space and turning it into the student success area that would be off, you know, won't be our area anymore, and so we're losing space. And it's just it's heartening, disheartening in some ways because I want to have a maker space. I want to have more activities in there and have this constant. This week we've had Americom coming with their cables all over the library and it's the finals week. And oh, you know, oh. and we had to find rooms and tell people we can go to these other rooms and study there instead of studying in the library, and it's just crazy. So, and it seems like they're always moving around and doing stuff in the library. So, when I worked in the, when I worked, I worked in the public library director, and our director did something really good that annoyed a lot of people, but that's why they doubled the size of the library. He just kept extending stuff. He'd say, okay, our children's section is now going to be over in the adult section, too, because we don't have enough room for that. And, it, you know, he, if people are, you just start doing your stuff. You put in your maker space, if, you know, sorry, you can't use this because we have people using this. If you don't ever have anything there, then they're going to think, oh, I can take oh, that. We had stuff there. We had plenty of stuff. There. They just showed me plans and said, well, what do you think about these plans? We're going to do this. You know, they didn't say, we want to do this. It was just, here's a plan for them to do this. And so, it's, you know, uh, the argument is always, we're short on space. And SCC hopes to have a bond issue to expand, but to get out the whole time, that's not a good thing. I know. <laughs> This is going back to you. I said, we used to sell Well, I, this is, I, I don't let them talk on there. I let them text. But if you know, most kids don't talk on the phone anyway. They text on their phone. And I, and I, every once in a while, somebody needs to call their boss or something like that. I'm like, yeah, go over in that corner and do whatever. Or if you need to, it's my mom calling. I need to talk to her. Yes. Um, but they can listen to their music. We don't have any problem with that, basically. Yeah, I mean, we let people text and listen. We don't have to talk. Right. We don't have to fight. We don't have to sometimes. And we have, like, one area that's more of a free-for-all area, and we have a more quiet area over here. So, um, you know, if you're working together with friends and you're whatever, you're going to be over in this area. If you're trying to have perfect silence, Quiet, you're going to be over here. And library is big enough for that, and we found that even talking just normally in circulation in the show is a We have study rooms. So we have study rooms. Yeah. 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 But I mean, everybody people just need to get used to it. Libraries are not oh, quiet. Right. Right. If they want it to be quiet, tell them to put their headphones on. We <laughs> have our share. <laughs> well, you know, it, yeah. in your environment, working with children, you can say that to headphones on what's the matter with you? Right. When we're working with adults, you can't do that. Mm -hmm. The next thing they're going to write to the president. To the president. Yeah. 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 So that I mean, they're paying for their education. I pay for my education. I, I should be able to do that. The other people are paying for their education too. Mm -hmm. I mean, you may be keeping more people out because it has to be quiet than the people you're keeping in because they want it to be quiet. <laughs> right, but that's what you have the study rooms for. I either for the easy noisy going. people to go in the study rooms and talk to the quiet people. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so you try to work out a compromise. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's funny because, like I said, we lost part of uh, the library for a room, um, a classroom, and I kept looking at one. Um, well, that's fine. We're, we've all got to share and so on and so forth. But I said, when will I get back? 
and they were like, well, we're soon as we build a new digital building. I said, so in two years, you promised me a local phase of not staying at a back in two years. Yes. And then they only built a partial wall in there, so about the first or the top four feet is open. So of course we hear what they do and they hear what we do. But the one thing she came in the teacher said, she goes, it's really noisy. Yeah, it's a library. <laughs> and she's like, God, it would be like dead quiet. And I'm like, it's a library. You know, I kept looking at her. And she doesn't she hasn't been to the library. No, she much. hasn't. And, and I said, and it's middle school. What are you expecting? You know, and it's not that again. It's not that we keep it perfectly. We don't let them scream and yell, but we don't keep it perfectly quiet unless we're doing some special testing in there or something. We don't, you know. And so like you were saying, I don't think they understand that this is more of an interaction and well I like we I think it's very called stop themselves is out of trouble. We're like there's no one in here talking on the phone. Is that like a is that like somebody that's in charge of director person or something? No. No, these are students. Oh, yeah. That's oh, crazy, Pam. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever asked the, I'm not sure you have a chance to know, but I just, I wonder, what do they want? What do, what do you mean, like, you know, a survey, like, what, oh, what, is, what is it, do you, what do you want? Yes, you have done a ton of That's what I said, as I said, I'm sure that's. Right, and so I'm one. They come to the library for a quiet place to get away from their kids or whatever, you know. So I, said, I understand that. It's, I come to work for peace and quiet. <laughs> but, you know, and then other people are, you know, it's like they hang out. You see each other after class, you kind of call right. it a day, you right. to meet here. You know, so yeah. sometimes, you know. It's um, kind of nice when our um, athletes come in. It's like, oh, we've got some atmosphere that, like, <laughs> you know, that <laughs> young, young, that are easy going, you know, that Do you guys, them. do you, like, work with faculty, you know, are you, have good relationships with people? Well, our problem is just the adjuncts that just <laughs> teach one class and don't know any of them. don't see our full-time right. faculty. Right. They get very right. more deposit than some faculty. Right. Cheaper. Much yeah. cheaper. Much cheaper. Yeah. So now yes. we're going on the time. I know. That looks great. So, yeah. <laughs> we really are talking about major training. Yeah. Yes. And just you know. Okay. I noticed. I just heard you say. Okay. Seriously. Coffee. I don't think that would necessarily be a bad idea. Um, Hastings. I live in Hastings. They have Hastings College, which is a very expensive liberal arts college, and the library is great because. Um, well, um, they had D. Yost, which was the previous oh. person. Now Susan yeah. Franklin is mm -hmm. here now. But you know, when they first, when D. Yost came in and she put furniture and she, I mean, comfortable furniture and a television and um, all of that stuff in what? there, it was like unheard of. And they have coffee every morning in there. They have, they do all sorts of things. They do like a game night. They do um, a lock-in. You can stay overnight at the library. They have, you know, decorate. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> You know, you can like off limits. <laughs> this day or whatever it is, they're having a, um, bring in a, a themed cookie for blah blah blah. They have kind of, they have tons of kids do that stuff. But a lot of it, I mean, they're not dorms. Right, freshmen can do that. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Very, you totally get. They have like a television in the winter that has the fireplace playing on uh, it. You know, it's so warm. <laughs> well, and, and I was going to say, I bet even if you guys talk a little bit, I bet right. you're still very, I mean, you, you have the same thing, but, but still, yeah. don't you still have a lot of kids on campus still? You have a lot of kids that come to campus, but they're not. It's a, it's a commuter college, but their apartment building right there. But I've seen to see again when these guys were saying that they have, you know, less than only ten percent that actually come yeah. to campus. That's a 
here, you know, here again, how do we, you know, a lot of this stuff, and I don't mean this because that's what makerspace is supposed to be. Right. It's supposed Communal. to be yeah. the, and hands-on and this and this, where this I mean, the, the will work for push to um, move in the next five years to increase the top of this. I mean, that would be the first two years of our campus within the next five years. So, so that would be helpful. So that would be helpful. Yeah. 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 And in Bellevue, just, well, they moved, but there's separate, what was Bellevue, Lincoln, they had office space on 70th Street. Now it's an SEC. And so they had a grand opening for their little area that they have. So they moved their office space over to SEC. And they are offering classes. Oh, what a little Yeah. Yeah, exactly. But what they had now. Thank you. They used to have. Oh, yeah, right over here. Yeah. We back to the future day. My daughter made one of those hoverboards and everybody could get their picture taken with it. <laughs> I'm surprised that your kids, and I don't mean this, I'm just surprised that you, I say that to some of the kids, like, oh, don't you record the future? Yeah, no, some kids like, didn't know it. Oh, gosh, I forgot. I'm old, you're not, you have no clue what I'm talking about. I'm most of the law. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm in a Doctor Who TARDIS, and you open it, and there is a whole collection of Doctor Who books. Crazy, you can't even imagine all the crazy Doctor Who books there are in high school. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the elementary as well. It's, yeah, I mean, it's just like, you got to have a gimmick life. sometimes to get them in there. But if you, I was going to say, you just said, though, that you're talking about the five years, they want to double. Yeah. So and, not and, yeah. and I was going to say, maybe this is your way of, you know, if you guys can get it started, it doesn't have to be different than, like, in this year, but, you know, down the road, if you're putting that in, so that as they do yes, this plan, that. Yeah. that you're there to yes. harness I that and bring it in. And, again, if you can work with... I need to be long term faculty members, but you know, even do that. Like I said, to me, it sounds like the do space idea is maybe a little more relevant to what it is, you know, where, yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? The year, yeah, that you can get kids together. Because, you know, like the Makey Makey, you know, okay, yeah. they work for MIT. But <laughs> I'm just saying, those two guys were probably sitting together some night in the dorm or at the bar over a beer and said, <laughs> hey, what are the name of those um, machines that they have, or the, the little go-bots that they have, and they use it for, they have it with kids, but they use a marker, it's the color, mm -hmm. and it, you can make a, take a piece of paper and you can make a plan and tell what the, the robots to do, mm -hmm. you put them over them, and you follow it and it is to a new color. I a robot does that. Yeah, well, these were these are tiny little I can't think of it. And by the way, Barnes and Noble. They have a ton of this. And they'll give you a ten percent discount or more depending on our industrial tech kids bought uh, made a drone. They printed a drone on their 3D printer. That's <laughs> impressive. <laughs> yeah. Wow. 3D printers. Yeah, it's kind but of see yeah. right yeah. here. To be honest with you, that's that would be huge because even at, at your level, it was okay. Yeah, you can print a drone. You could have a drone. So now the question comes in, though: What are the laws mm -hmm. that have to do with it? Why is it that basically in Lincoln, Nebraska, you right. can't fly a drone? Because we're within five miles of the airport, and so there's airspace. So I'm just saying now, my kids are probably going to be like, huh? Because they, you know, but yeah, your, right. your level, they're going to be like, well, wait a minute. I, why can't we do this? And what are the repercussions? What about the guy who shot one out of the air because it was hovering over his backyard when his daughter was lying down? It's a critical thinking skill. Yeah. That would be, I'm yeah. just saying, yeah. that could be something really cool. Cool that you could. I just want a drone to fly around the library. Yeah. My library has really tall ceilings. Wow. <laughs> Dropping pieces. And isn't there a rule about that? Not inside. No, they, there is because we have at ESU 
couldn't, um, they can't fly in the gym. I don't know if it has to do with space. Or, I bet, but that's what I'm saying. Huh. You know, that's well, I'm not going to tell anybody. Well, no, I wouldn't tell anybody. Like <laughs> I'm just saying that that's, you know, that there's, this is all so cutting edge. Our laws are trying to catch up mm -hmm. with what we're true. doing. So that could be such a cool class or a cool right. unit or, you know, something. 